why write a book? Some research has been done in America and they found that 80% of people say they want to write a book. I'm not sure if it's the same all over the world, but that's a lot of people who have thought at some time of writing a book. When you think about it, how many of you have read a book and that book has in some way changed your life? Do you realise that if you write a book, you could change somebody else's life? That's a powerful thought. And that's probably a very deep reason to start writing a book. There are others. When we look at especially business books, one of the most important reasons is credibility. A book gives you credibility in your business. To other people, it means that you've done the hard yards. You've actually put pen to paper about your subject and you are now a published author about your subject, about your business. It gives you enormous credibility. And a book can bring in new clients because if people think you are the author on that particular topic, then they are more likely to turn to you than other people. A second reason is probably fame. Lots of people want to write a book to be famous. And you know what? It can happen. Look at the number of people that you know who are published authors, who you've heard of. Each of them sat where you are today at one stage and thought, I wonder if I could write a book. And they did, and now they're famous. So that works. Another reason I've often heard for writing a book is money. Now, this is a tricky one because I don't want to mislead you. Very few people actually make money from the sale of their book. Most people, in fact, and I want to be honest, lose money when they write and publish a book from the actual sale itself. But there's, there are ways of leveraging the book which will bring in money which has nothing to do with the actual publication and sale of the book. Of course, you can make money. Look at J.K. Rowling. She's rolling in it, so to speak. But um, because a book gives you the credibility that we've talked about, so it can lead to speaking engagements, it can lead to more business, and that itself can bring in money. So the actual writing of a book eventually can bring in money. Some people say, oh, I have to write a book because everybody says I can, everybody says I should. If that's the only reason, Perhaps it's not a very good reason, but you know what? If everybody says you should write a book, maybe they're right. Maybe they've got something there. Maybe they recognize in you some spark of expertise, some message that you should get across. And so if everybody's telling you to write a book, go ahead, write it. A book or writing a book, I should say, clarifies your thinking on a topic. You might already be an expert, you might already give talks on your topic. Sitting down to write the book actually clarifies what you know and where the holes, where the gaps in your knowledge are. And you go away and you research it and you become even more of an expert in your field. I always find another reason that writing is cathartic. It gets everything out. You, whatever you feel inside that's struggling to get out comes out when you're writing a book. It's really good. Another reason, which I have heard people give to write a book, is because it's there. It's like climbing Everest. I have to climb Everest because it's there. Because to show everybody that I can. And... That's a good enough reason to write a book. A lot of people have write a book on their bucket list. And if that's you, I'm sure that this series will be useful to you.
A book is also a gateway. It's a gateway to show people that you're capable of other things in your field. Obviously, you can't write all your knowledge into a book. Hmm. Well, actually, I do know some people who could probably put all their knowledge into one single book. But, but, most people know far more than can ever go into a book. Uh, your book is a gateway into your other offerings, your webinars, your blogs, your other writing, your presentations, your coaching, your training, whatever you're doing, that book is a gateway into those areas. And to be honest, a lot of people say to me, I'd like to write a book because I want to look really cool at networking events, at cocktail parties, places that I go. I want to be introduced as, this is a published author. Actually, that's not so bad. Because imagine you were at a networking event and somebody said, oh, and this is uh, Jo Brown and she's published her own book and uh, it's on uh, nutrition. And all of a sudden, people gather around her to ask her about her book, to ask her about her topic. Isn't that what we're after at networking events? Isn't that what we want, that people want to know about our topics? In fact, it is the Swiss army knife, if you like, the all-purpose tool of the business world. If you have a book, you can give it to a client, you can uh, send it to a potential client, you can leave it as you leave somebody's office, you say, oh, here's my book. You can um, use it almost as a business card. You can uh, leverage off your book for as a discussion starter, as a way of marketing, a lead generator, all sorts of things you can use your book for. So those are the reasons for writing a book. I'm sure one of them will be appropriate to you.